All right, y'all, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Once you save that cheerleader, guess what? You're going to save the world. <laughs> you go, you're going to save the world. Okay, so today we have some news about heroes. Now, with all the superhero content going on, heroes did, has, you know, heroes has crossed my mind a couple times. There's so much hero content going on. So, of course, Heroes has definitely, I, I thought of Heroes a couple times, but then I thought of Heroes Reborn, and then I was like, okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, my God. That thought of Heroes Reborn, I was like, okay, girl, we could just put her back on the shelf. But apparently, we got some hero stuff, some more hero stuff coming in the works. Now, Tim Kring's Heroes is eyeing a second encore with Heroes Eclipsed. A new incarnation of the popular 2006 superhero drama series, Sources Tell Deadline. Of course, this article is in my description if you want to check it out. Appropriately, the project is being pitched to buyers now, the week of the solar eclipse. Y'all thought y'all was cute with that. Heroes Eclipse, I see what y'all doing. Um, the original series started off with a solar eclipse in the pilot, which became a recurring element throughout the series, as we all know, also reflected in its logo. Written by Kring, Heroes Eclipsed is set years after the events of the original series as new Evos are being awakened and discovering powers that will change their lives. Now this part here is interesting, featuring familiar villains and new enemies who once again will be attempting to suppress this next step in human evolution. It will be up to this new group of heroes to save the world. Now, when they say featuring familiar villains, I want to know, are y'all talking about Siler's crazy ass? Because that ending happened so long ago, so don't even ask me, like, no specifics or no shit like that. But I felt like Siler went through this, like, kind of almost evolution where in the beginning he was just collecting powers. Um, then he just got hungry for power. So it's like, bitch, I need to fucking, I need to kill you bitches. I need to slice y'all heads off like they, like, I need to slice y'all heads like they onions and shit, bitch. <laughs> you remember that finger he was pointing at bitches' heads and, and cutting open their cranium, cutting open their skulls and shit, bitch. I was like, oh my God, Silo, you're so disgusting. Uh, I need another episode. <laughs> I was watching Silo like, oh my God, this man is so disgusting. It's just, he's so heinous and, and evil. I want to see another episode of him. <laughs> So I wanted to talk about Siler, but at the same time, like I said, I think toward the end of the show, he was like trying to pretend to be a good person. Like he was trying to be a good person. Y'all, I don't remember for real, but was he trying to like be like, okay, well, I'm not going to be that bad. I'm trying to be a good person. And I'm just like, okay. And then how y'all killed him, but y'all didn't really kill him. I don't know. I don't know how y'all going to, you know, bring him back or whatever, but I need Siler. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> and the cheerleader, bitch. Like, I <laughs> And hey, there girl, I need the, I need the main characters. I need the main characters. I'm so sorry. Um, and okay, so the article talked about new enemies who once again will be attempting to suppress this next step in human evolution. So I think, of course, we're going to have enemies when it comes to the Evos and the people with powers. And then we're going to have enemies who are just like, girl, we don't need these people with powers around here. Let's get their ass out of here. So the premise evokes the 2015 limited series Heroes Reborn, which I mentioned, I'm just like, girl, let's just let's just move on past it. Let's just not even act like it exists that much. Um, also created by Kring, which also was set years after the events in the original series and introduced a new group of Evos as uh, more ordinary people discovered that they possessed unique abilities. All right, so this is the thing. I'm just like, okay, so Heroes Reborn was also, you, you're trying to set Heroes Eclipse years after the events of the original series, but Heroes Reborn is also um, set years after the original series. So I'm just like, okay, so what, I think in my head, I'm like, what does the timeline actually look like? Which characters are going to be involved? Because I think in Heroes Reborn, all the characters weren't, like all the characters from the main show, the original show, weren't involved in it and i just need to see familiar faces i'm so sorry i need to see hayden i need to see uh siler like i said i need to see uh peter petrelli uh i need to see angela fucking petrelli oh my god i need to see angela that shady ass girl I, <laughs> I need to see angela i need to see, i don't know i don't know find a way to bring him back but i don't care what y'all do it really doesn't matter at this point 
um, because y'all already rebooting the fucking shit. So just just bring them back. It does. It could be a la It could be a very flimsy, lousy explanation as to why our favorite characters are back. But as long as they're back and you're doing good things with them, I really don't care. Bring it back. I mean, I, every time I think about heroes, I think about um, Hayden. <laughs> I'm calling her Hayden, but you know, Claire, Claire, whatever. I think about Claire jumping off that shit and. <laughs> You remember she jumped off that motherfucking shit and, and slammed it to the ground and got up and put that shoulder back in. Like, let's get into the real tea that Heroes was, bitch. Like, Heroes was everything until they fucked it up. Until that, was it a strike or something? Like a writer strike that fucked it up? I don't know. They fucked that shit up bad, but it started out so good. So if y'all could really bring it back, if you could revitalize it, then do so. But like I said, that Heroes Reborn shit, if you didn't do Heroes Reborn, I think I would feel a little bit more confident in this reboot in this upcoming sequel but we gonna see we gonna see okay so here they just continue to talk about heroes reborn and who was involved um let's move on heroes ran for four seasons after a red hot start with a pop culture defining save the cheerleader save the world i told y'all i already said that y'all need to go into these gyms y'all need to go into these I, I, these sports games i don't know what to tell you but all you need to you what you need to make sure you do is find a cheerleader okay <laughs> you need to go into auditions or some shit bitch you need to find a, the nearest gymnasium and, and and find a cheerleader so you can save that cheerleader save the goddamn world because we need it right now okay <laughs> we need somebody please we need this world right now needs a cheerleader so that it can be fucking saved okay um, so of course, save the cheerleader, save the world. First chapter that earned the show, um, the outstanding drama series Emmy nomination, both the original series and limited series, which drew softer ratings. Uh, yeah, to say the least, <laughs> aired on, <laughs> sorry, aired on NBC. According to sources, the new heroes incarnation, which is envisioned as an ongoing series. So not a limited or anything like that as an ongoing series has been pitched to NBC along with streamers. So I wonder who's going to snatch that up. I wonder who's going to pick it up. Now, I'm sure some people are like on in, in one or two camps. The first camp is the camp that I am in, right? Where it's like there is, it, I think the entertainment, TV, movie, whatever industry is set up really well right now for a good, a good superhero TV show, another good one. Um, and the reason why I say good, an emphasis on good, is because of the other camp, like <laughs> that I'm not in, where it's like, okay, I think that some people think, well, we got a lot coming up. We got the DCU, we got the boys, Gen V, um, Marvel, if you still want to count that or whatever. And so maybe people in the other camp might think, okay, it's too much hero stuff, superhero stuff going on right now. Maybe heroes need to wait, but I don't think they need to wait. That's why I'm in the other camp. <laughs> I don't think they need to wait. I just think that it has to be good because I mean, you're right. Like they are up against a lot. Like there is a lot of superhero content out there, but I mean, you can even see on Twitter how, or on social media, how in the invincible brand and the boys brand play off of each other. So you know, when they're marketing and, and, and promoting stuff. So I think it's like the amount of superhero content could be a good thing for heroes um, because it's like already, they have already set an atmosphere for a show like this to go on to continue to reboot or whatever. Um, but also if the, sh the show has to be good because there is a lot of superhero content out there, right? So it set the atmosphere, but you have to measure up or um, surpass it uh, for us to, for it to really bang like how it needs to bang because we already have some good superhero property so i think it will be fine as long as they really do like really do a good job with it right and this is just something i want to happen this is just something i really want to happen i need y'all to make sure that you give leonard roberts his things um, I want him to have a big role and a big check and a comfortable time on set, especially after he detailed all the racism and unfair treatment he received while doing uh, the original Heroes show um, and how even with all these... Ali Larder, I'm looking at you, girl. <laughs> I'm looking at you, girl. We already know what happened. This big-ass article that was released in Leonard um, with Roberts, of course, talking about his experience all, I mean, it was all over the place. I think I even talked about it. 
Um, but yeah, I just would love it if he could get his things. Um, but I can also understand if he don't want anything to do with y'all after what he experienced. Like I can, I can understand it. But yeah, that's it. Tell me what you think about this update. Are you? Is it something you're excited for, or has Heroes Reborn kind of put a weird taste in your mouth? It's understandable if that's the case. But I am like cautiously hopeful, cautiously optimistic when it comes to this because I think the atmosphere is set when it comes to, like I said, the, the entertainment industry, um, TV industry, whatever, for another good, um, for any good superhero series. It just has to be like you have to really kick, knock it out the park. Like it has to be really good. So. Let me know what you think of this. Love y'all so much. And I'll check y'all later. Peace. Make sure that you're going to www.zaraxia.com. When you join the wait list there on the site, you will be the first to be notified when I drop my sequel. Also, you'll immediately get chapter one of my upcoming sequel of the upcoming book uh, sent to your email as a PDF. So check that out. Also, this is a different excerpt. Uh, from my upcoming book so you definitely want to pause to read if you're trying to get your life uh, keep in mind that this upcoming book the sequel is following up the first book that is already released called Zaraxia Wrath of the God King um, I released it a couple years ago a few years ago it was my really it was my introduction to writing uh, fantasy and stuff so just go easy on me but either way as you can see here it's giving 4.9 stars. It's giving 4.9 stars. So yeah, check out Zaraxia Wrath of the God King while you wait for Zaraxia, the vengeance of cold wind, right? And go to Zaraxia.com, sign up, join the wait list, get your free chapter. Thank you so much.